What's going on y'all? I'm Czar, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at some of the new features added in Waves V14. I'm going to update my Waves update plan so I can get some of these plugins, and we'll also look at the performance of V14 in Studio One. So here is the new features introduced in Waves V14. Uh, we now have a mix and trim knobs on some of the compressors, uh, the API 2500, CLA-2A, CLA-3A, CLA-76, I guess I could have just said the CLA Classic Compressors, uh, R-Comp and the SSL G Master Bus Compressor. We have uh, faster load times, which I'm very interested in checking out because that has been one thing that has been really annoying me with Waves plugins in Studio One. So we're definitely going to look at the performance now for V14 in Studio One. And we also have drag and drop presets where you can just drag the preset over to the plugin and it should quickly load. We have graphic updates for a few plugins, uh, Abbey Road's TG Mastering, the API Collection, CLA Classic Compressors, OVOX, the Puig Tech EQ. And we also have a standalone application now for Waves CR8 sampler. Uh, probably not gonna look at that in this video, uh, but let's take a look at some of these others. So the trim knob is, I'm, I don't know, I never really wanted a mix or trim knob on these plugins, but I do realize that it seems like everyone else has it. So I kind of feel like Waves has had to do this, but it does feel overdue to add some simple features like this. But I'm gonna jump over to the next tab so I can update my Waves update plan to uh, receive V14 on uh, some of these plugins, uh, mainly the ones that I use. I'm gonna point out here, if we scroll a little bit to the bottom, you can see that there is a $20 off your next purchase with a minimum purchase of $50 when you renew your Waves update plan. So uh, let's go spend $50 in Waves update plan. So I know a lot of people don't like Waves update plan, but I don't know if people realize this, but you don't have to update it. I'm not going to update everything. We can see if I did update everything, $346, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to update the ones that I need or uh, the ones that I use the most here. I also want to point out that this is a good time to get the Waves update plan because there is a sale right now for 25% off. And that's another thing when I do uh, purchase the Waves update plan. I always do it when there is a sale, which typically when they run a sale, it is 25% off at least. I haven't seen them run anything more than 25% off or anything uh, less than 25% off. So normally when they have a sale on the update plan, it's 25% off and that's when I purchase mine. So I'm going to update uh, the Abbey Road TG mastering chain because I use that one that has improved graphics. I'm going to update the uh, CLA Classic Compressors. I'm going to update, let's see, uh, F6 uh, has graphic improvements. Let's get that. All right, and so that puts me at 5164, so that's over the $50. I'm not going to do, uh, where is it, the Musicians Bundle 2, which would include, uh, which would include our comp and it's only eight more dollars, but I really don't, when I use even, I do use our comp a lot, but I really don't care for the mix knob and output trim on that. I've just never needed that on that compressor. So I'm going to leave that alone. I, I kind of want to go ahead and update the, uh, where is it? The JJP bundle for the Puig tech graphic update, but I don't use that one as much, but let's see how much it would be if I did that. There we go. Yeah, it's going to add another $20. Yeah, I'm, I'm cool with that. So we'll stick with this uh, 5164. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and update this Waves update plan and uh, get V14 installed. Actually, before we do that, uh, let me jump over to uh, Studio One. All right. So in Studio One, if you go to Plugin Manager, and you go to, try to remember this real quick, where is it? Oh, statistics. All right, so if you go to statistics, plugin manager, you can see this average load time and look at the average load time for my Waves plugins. Studio Rack Mono, 25 seconds. 
CLA Mix Hub, 11 seconds. Retro Fi, 7 seconds. One knob pressure, uh, 7 seconds. So you can see it's taking a very long time for these waves plugins to load. Now, I don't know how to reset this here. Maybe the remove plugins or update plugin list. I may uh, try that. Uh, but either way it goes, even if I reset this with uh, Waves V14, if these plugins add uh, or load quicker, we should see these times decrease. So I'm going to go ahead and take a screenshot of this so we can compare once we get uh, V14 installed and we'll see if these actually load quicker. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so I purchased my update plan, and for anyone who doesn't know how to update your Waves plugins, once you purchase the update plan, you want to go to your account and go to Get Latest Version, and that's going to bring you to this page. And this is going to show all of your uh, plugins that's currently under the Waves update plan. Uh, so you can see the Abbey Road TG Mastering Chain, which I just updated, as well as the CLA Classic Compressors in F6. And, you know, these other ones are just ones that were already uh, covered under the update plan. So we're just going to select all of these and click uh, Get Latest Version. And we should see these uh, change from version 12, version 13. Uh, they should update to reflect uh, V14. We'll go back under my products here. And there, you see it now shows V14 not activated. So I'm going to jump into the Wave Central app and update these, and then we'll go into Studio One. All right, so we're here in Studio One, and my V14 plugins were not loading. So what I did was I went to uh, Plugin Manager, and I hit Remove Plugin Settings, and it rescanned everything, and hopefully now they will load. Uh, but we're going to start with a uh, studio rack which has taken the longest to load for me we saw the average the average load time was 25 seconds uh, so let's see how faster or how much faster it's going to load now okay still took a few seconds but not that bad let's try uh cla see what we got here let's try cla 76 Okay, that was pretty instant. Uh, let's try the uh, two-way. Okay, so that's pretty instant too. So, and I can tell, we're looking at these new graphics here. It's got some like, uh, not scuff marks, but little scratches on the faceplate now, making it look more used. Uh, and yeah, here's our mix knob and our trim. Uh, let's go back to the 76, see if I see anything. It's got little scratches in the logo here. Uh, it does look cleaner, though, I must admit. Uh, let's grab F6. I don't really notice a, a difference in looking in this one. Uh, let's go back to... Uh, studio rack. Okay, it loaded quicker that time. Uh, let's look at the uh, plugin manager statistics. All right, so we went down three seconds. So, I mean, it is loading uh, faster. So, that's worth the upgrade price to me alone just to have these waves plug in uh, loading faster because it was that was crucially slow uh, before. Um, I'm trying to think, is there something else? Uh, updated CLA compressors. Oh, the uh, Abbey Road mastering chain, which is one that I must say that I slept on for a while. But when I started using it, I've been using it on all of my masters since. Uh, TG. Here we go. Uh, let's put that on a stereo. All right. So yeah, that loaded quicker too. And yeah, I can I can notice a difference. It looks uh, everything looks sharper on here. This one now, one of the reasons I wasn't using this at first is that I just felt like these uh, the parameters were hard to read. And with this new graphical update, everything does look look sharper and clearer for sure. Especially the gain reduction here, where everything just felt small and just a little blurry um, on this. So definitely good job there. So. 
overall thoughts here. Oh, let me get back to uh, so like I said, our comp uh, really didn't didn't see a need to update that to get the mix knob. Uh, the SSL G bus compressor. I'll pull that up, even though it is not the um, V14, but just to show it here. All right. So even if we add, uh, uh, you know, the mix knob and trim to this. I honestly don't use this really anymore, and it's all because it does not have a high-pass filter on it. Uh, Waves really needs to add a high-pass filter on it. I get it. The hardware didn't have a high-pass filter, but even SSL has added a high-pass filter to the, to the hardware version of this. So uh, it would be really nice to see Waves update this with a high-pass filter. And then personally for me, I would get more use for it as far as on mix bus because for a mix bus compressor i just have to have that uh, high pass filter so i uh, just wanted to point out that's the reason i did not update uh, this one to get that mix knob and output trim because without a high pass filter this i'm not interested in that one but all right but there is a look at uh, the new features in waves v14 and how it performs in studio one uh, i am impressed so far I, man it, the feeling of having these low faster uh just has me excited to use some of these waves plugins again because 5 10 15 seconds gets very annoying waiting for a plug-in to load uh, i even put this in the uh, studio on facebook group and found out that other people were having that issue as well so it, it wasn't just me so it's glad to see waves uh resolve that issue all right but there's a look at the new features in waves v14 uh, if you like this video i appreciate a thumbs up and if you want to continue to see content from me then you know what to do any questions comments let me know and i'll catch y'all next time i invite you to check out my podcast the faders up podcast a podcast about pro audio and beyond season three is now underway and in this season we'll be doing a lot of topics requested by listeners so if you have a topic you want to hear discussed on the podcast email us dm us or join us in our facebook group faders up podcast and let us know and if you haven't checked out the podcast yet i have a link in the description that'll take you to the page